I was asked about the importance of a manager and I started to talk about just the difference between gross and net income and how you have to be careful of what you pay your manager. Obviously I posted it. People got mad. I got some DMs, people mad at me. Uh, managers. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> some, some guy who told me he was here in, in the industry for 30 years and I was just aspiring. That was nice of him. I bit my tongue and didn't say anything else. He did tell me to take it down. I said, no. But anyway, that DeNovo posted it. DeNovo has people commenting, mad again, managers mad because they want their 20% is what they're pretty much saying. I didn't say managers didn't deserve 20%. I said they didn't deserve 20% of gross income. And by giving away gross income, what you could possibly do is make less money than your manager. Watch the video, listen to it. Anyone who listened to it, you'll see people comment on it. The people who actually pay attention to what I said all defend me and go, no, definitely gross, uh, not gross. Go net, go net income right. because what net income is, is you subtract expenses before paying the manager. That's it. I'm not saying a manager is not worth 20%. The managers who are mad at me want the 20% off the top because they don't actually care what the artist makes. They're not in this for the artist at all. They don't care about you. Most managers don't, sadly. They want their money. That's why they have a thousand clients and they just try to get people to do shows. They pump them out. And then they get mad when I post a video telling people the difference between gross and net income. A good manager, I've worked with many of them, will write gross but then have exceptions to things that can be taken out before they get paid. That is middle ground. Instead of just saying net, if you write gross and have exceptions, I have looked at many contracts with managers who know what they're doing, have offices, have employees or running businesses that still aren't taking it from gross alone. They're taking gross and they understand that you have to subtract the cost of lights, stage, equipment, location, Cool. My manager got me to do a show right downtown Atlanta. That's perfect. Great. Yeah. It cost me 20 grand to rent out the stadium, but I made 30 total. So he got 20% of the 30 and I get the leftover after I pay the 20 grand to rent it out. Yeah. You get four, he gets six. Yeah. Like why does he deserve six grand? All he did was make a phone call for you. Yes. He believes in you. Great. Congrats. But Ultimately, certain situations, he doesn't deserve gross income because he knows there's expenses associated. If he got you in something and didn't know there's an expense, it's a whole different story. Like if he didn't realize, <laughs> hey, I got you a show, but it's going to cost us two grand to get there. You already, most management contracts already have terms in it that they have to be repaid for their own travel. So cool. Now you do a show, they get 20% and you have to pay for him to get there. 20% of gross plus his travel and food while he's there. Why even That's do the joke. show? <laughs> like you're just doing a show for him to get paid a certain extent. Either have exceptions to what counts as gross or make it net. The easiest thing is net. But a manager that you can't fully trust, some people will still try to make net count like gross. The wording doesn't ultimately matter. The terms matter. Mm -hmm. I don't care if they hand you a net income management contract titled. That doesn't mean they're taking a percentage of your net income. So that video that everyone's still upset about and tagging me in is not about is a manager worth 